I'm going like a speed skating starting point. Yeah. Uh, why don't we do the this one? Wow. Ba boom. After that, you go. Yeah, why? exactly. Because if, if not, it feels like chop, chop, chop. What? Chop, chop. All right. Dirt, push, ah, uh, bo bo Get it right. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I like the orbital situation. That's good. We are back from Finland now, and a lot of achievement there, but still a lot to do because the Grand Prix are opening very soon, and they need to be at their top. If we exaggerate yeah. this, you yeah. yeah. Look at each other. Wow. Hey. We are prepping for Skate America this weekend. Four of our couples are going to compete. Lolo Nick, Oli Adri, Maddie and Zach, and Maddie and Evan. Guys, there's one thing that we feel for now is that the build-up is nice at the beginning, after, after the skid, pose, pose, this one. But then there's a plateau for just you guys trying to set up the, the yeah. move, the straight. Yeah. Should we put the yeah, stomach and stuff so. there? Yeah, And then sooner. maybe put the flare at the end again? Ah. Yeah. Okay. Oui, parce que le, yeah, the nice, what's nice is whatever big dance action we have, yeah. when it's closer to the judges, it's better. It's better. Yeah. Maddie and Zach are going there to defend their title of last year, and for Maddie and Evan, they might have a chance to win this title. I can't do it any time. I'm trying, but I can't go any what? faster. Like, I'm not trying to slow it down. My arms don't even do the circle because I can't go that fast. That's because you wait till the last second, and you have the less time to do the circle. So an amazing thing happened a year ago. You became my neighbor. <laughs> and now we basically share a terrasse. Yeah. I have to pronounce it like that in Montreal. A terrasse. Terrace. A terrace. Um, and yours is the nicer of the two, for sure. <laughs> the more furnished, I would the, say. Yes. But it's been really convenient. And you always text me, like, do you have eggs? Or do you have this? Can I <laughs> borrow this? I'm like, I'm lactose intolerant. I'm sorry, I don't have milk. <laughs> I remember you asked me, like, do you mind if I move in? I'm like, e no. I was like, is this too much? Am I no invading way. everybody's space? It's been really convenient, actually. Yeah. No, this is the so, best space for yeah. you. We're both coffee fans. You took me to Cafe Bloom for the first time. Yeah, yeah. We were there, and you first told me that you were writing a book. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, oh my gosh, this is the best True. news ever. <laughs> and I remember you were a little nervous about the process. I mean, the whole thing, having to talk about my sexuality and all those things. It's one thing to write it, and then another thing to actually realize that people, like real people are gonna read it other than myself. <laughs> yeah, that's a realization. The journalist the other day asked me if I thought that people were seeing me differently after knowing that I was gay or like publishing a book, and I, I didn't really think so, but I feel like it opened the door for people like that um, Russian, I don't know if he's a judge or a former coach, like I don't know him personally. Some comments that he gave to um, a journalist were published in some articles. I don't know if you saw them, it was online, I don't know. Uh, he was comparing Gabby and I to uh, the Russian couple and he was saying that basically they had an advantage because they could portray real love on the ice, whereas because I'm gay, somehow Gabby and I wouldn't be able to do that, <laughs> which is uh, stupid and untrue. Like, sexuality or gender, like, don't define who you are or your abilities. And we train so much to present something that we love and that's so deeply connected to who we are, and then for that to be the thing that's judged, it's really upsetting. There's always going to be people that are just not going to like it, and that's okay. Like, you can't please everyone. No, it's, it's impossible. Like, it's a role. It's like, it's like a, a movie, like, you know, like when two people make out in the movie, like, they don't necessarily make out in life. Yeah. <laughs> like, hello. Hello. <laughs> but I think it makes it even more important to, like, say something and just, like, respond just mm -hmm. for the gay Russian skaters who yes. can't really say anything about it.
it's not okay, but the ISU released today a statement uh, saying that uh, it was not going to be tolerated. So I'm pretty satisfied with, you know, just the ISU taking a stand on that matter. I obviously admire you and, and you kind of writing your story with this book and, and just being so open about who you are and owning it. I think it's so inspiring and really empowers so many people. Thank you. Um, and I know that you've gone through a lot and it just, it's incredible that you're really taking a stand and, and being unapologetically who you are. Thanks, that means a lot. Yeah, of course. Haters will hate. Yeah, no matter, <laughs> no matter what. No matter what you say. It's just so easy with social media to just like put whatever you're thinking, and feel out like there. it's not going to impact the person or yeah. that they'll re they won't read it. Yeah. But. I don't know about you, but it's it's something that I, and like I never go and read the comments that people make. No, stay off of Twitter. Stay out of Twitter. Don't read the comments. <laughs> yeah, I say Pinterest is the best <laughs> option. Just look at like terrace decor on Pinterest, and you'll be happy for the rest of your life. <laughs>
a week of rest and then ramp back up into competition mode. It's just the beginning of the journey and uh, our goal for the school and for each of the team is to prove at the Olympics that they would be able to take the best spot. <laughs>